goddamn lawyer, lawyer of theirs to fucking talk out the side of his ass. And as much as y'all caught him in lies from the very beginning, y'all still in favor of every time he say something, y'all motherfuckers running that shit all through the block. Oh, R. Kelly lawyer said that. Fuck him. Like, this shit is terrible, man. This shit, y'all motherfuckers is so much in controversy that y'all really missing a really important situation that's going on. And that important situation is two girls that are mentally fucked up. Yep. And let me, let me, that, that, that shit with TMZ, you motherfuckers keep on fucking putting up the girls as you know, sex slaves and we got them held against. Motherfucker, y'all know what the fuck we mean. Change the title when y'all fucking talk about the girls. All you fucking social media bloggers too. And the goddamn YouTubers, you motherfuckers keep on, oh, the girls, the father of the girl hell high. I ain't nobody, she mentally hell hostage. Right. Do you know what the fuck right. that mean? Mentally hell hostage. Meaning that you're mentally broke. Exactly. So therefore, you can tell a motherfucker it's a wall right there and ain't shit right there and they won't go past that earth. Exactly. You're mentally, they are mentally broken. Stockholm syndrome. Motherfuckers keep on talking that dumb ass shit, man, making us look like we fucking, we, 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 this motherfuckers out here just chasing for nothing. You know how much goddamn money I spent of my own personal fucking savings in chasing my goddamn daughter in this situation? Yep. Y'all motherfuckers is crazy, man. I love my daughter. Exactly. I love my motherfucking daughter. Understand that. So I'm, ain't nothing that motherfucker gonna do to be able to keep me away from my child. Nothing. Right. Ain't shit she gonna be able to say or none of that. Right. Fuck out of here, man. Yeah, I man, fuck fuck for two years straight. Angelo T, two years straight. No work, no nothing. Chasing this every day, day and night, talking about this. So when y'all say we don't love our kids, love my daughter to death, man. That's real talk. That's the real bit, you know. And that's the reason why me and Angelo bond so much because. This was a day and night situation, you know, from the time from from in the December in the year of 2016 until now, it's been this like this from day one. That's real talk. So don't get it twisted at all. Fact. Nobody knows me better than Angelo. Nobody knows me better than my wife and kids in this house and my family in Memphis. Nobody knows me better. You want to talk to somebody? Talk to them. You talk to a blog about me? Shit about me. So keep it real. This is what I'm telling y'all. I ain't asking anybody. You know, when we forming as a team, team truth. Everybody know that. That's what we rolling with, team truth. Yes, inshallah. So we understand that this is a real fight. But what I want the world to know is stop having these dumbass conversations with dumbass people. Because right. this is what this, this this is the thing right now, right? And and, and and I'm gonna and I'm gonna tell y'all something that really fucked me. I watched Master P put a good piece out about Nipsey and all the motherfuckers that were wouldn't holler at Nipsey when he was living. Rest in peace, Nipsey. But yeah, he wouldn't he, he wouldn't he wouldn't he wouldn't he wouldn't holler at him. But all these people claiming glory now, they they chasing, they clout chasing. Everybody would do that. Oh, oh, Nipsey was the man. He was like, how was he a man when he got he was trying to fuck with half of you motherfuckers to do some work with y'all and y'all ain't even paying no attention. And that's the same thing what I wanted Master P to understand. You told me to kick in the motherfucking door and kill this man. But now you're telling me enjoy life and hug, be able to hug a motherfucker. And I feel everything you're saying. So what I want him to do is I hope that you understand that it's a father that you spoke on. Two parents that you spoke on, but one in particular was me. And I know we have mutual individuals that might get this to you. I need you to speak that same thing. Just understand why I had to stay so fucking humble and why I'm not doing facing life right now for this fucking dickhead and why I have to keep my legacy going for my grandchildren, for my for my other uh, kids and, and my future grandkids. Because I'm not no dummy and I didn't work this motherfucking hard to build my legacy, to destroy my legacy because of something a law allowed happened. Understand that. Way bigger right. than y'all. It's nothing that Israel ain't supposed to not had this happen. This was something that was that was in written in her script. The difference was a law put the burden on my back to see a bigger cause. And a bigger cause was it opened my door to a lot of women that have been doing going through this for years. It's a lot of and this is why America accepts this shit from black women. 
I have so many sh- stories and shit that's coming out real, real soon with another part that we working on that's going to come out. And guess what? It ain't no free funding. This shit coming from me. Funding again. And guess what? With the help of all of y'all, it's going to become a reality. And we're going to have real movements for queens, for real queens that needed to get this shit out of their system and clear their sleep. Exactly. Motherfuckers like Kelly shouldn't live better than y'all and he the predator. It makes no sense. He the one that, that's, that's fucking making you young ladies and treat whatever he want them to do and then throwing you away with no guidance, no nothing. And the world already shut the door. It ain't just that R. Kelly. It's R. Kelly's in the house. It's the all the uncles, his fathers, his brothers. It's everybody. Right. And the difference is we got to make everybody f- fucking stand accountable. So with this R. Kelly situation, what I do, I fight them. Because it opened my eyes up to see how many queens out here that needed a motherfucking man, a king, a father, a boss to step up for me. And I'm forming, I'm, I'm formatting a motherfucking team of men that's real vicious. And the one thing we all got in common is a motherfucker who violate women and kids, children, right. and babies. No tolerance. But y'all just need the kings that stand up for y'all. And we here. So that's the good thing that come out of this, besides the day I get my daughter back. And she coming. She coming hard real soon. But we're going we gonna to need a lot of therapy and a lot of prayer from y'all. That's absolutely oh. correct, Angelo. You you spoke 100% truth, brother. And a lot of people just don't know how truthful it is when you have a child that you see on television and you can't reach out and touch them and help them to a degree because you got uh, Chicago police is by bagging him 100%. 100%. They ain't bagging them 50%. They bagging them 100%. Half of them work for them. And so we trying to get out and reach and touch our kids. We can't. Because if you going up there, you kicking in the door all you want to, somebody around the corner can be half a couple of days ago, uh, hey, police, he, had to, he took his life. And he took his uh, ex-wife. He took his girlfriend life. And he took a 16-year-old life. That wasn't a good feeling. You know, so we, we have to understand, people, this is not a game. This is not lifetime. It's going to be on TV. We're really trying to get our daughters home to get them the help that they deserve. And for one more thing I want to say about Alice Clare, John Jalen Savage. These two women are not given the respect that they deserve. Real talk. They have helped bring these girls out that's out here right now and no one is giving them the respect that they deserve as mothers and I'm speaking on networks that need to do that you really need to step out and talk to these two women right here because this wouldn't be going on if it wasn't for these two women and these families so you really need to step out and talk to them because right now you're not actually doing something else on this and I don't want to see it on here because it's not no, no, no. The difference is, why in the fuck do you have women that's old, 30 years old, and, and whatever else, and other ones that participated in fondling with children? I don't give a fuck yeah. if you're a woman there, and you fucking and dogs in this situation where you fucking did a threesome with him and you knew this was a child, then your ass is a victim. I mean, your ass is, 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 is on the same page as him. You, 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 you have openly and 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 and, and uh agree with having sex with a child because at any point you could have said i'm gonna take a slap fuck this you're gonna have to whip my ass i'm not fucking this is a child no fuck that kick my ass i'm leaving that's what a real woman would have did and probably right. would have grabbed a young girl and kicked her up the ass and sent her out and that's the same with the guys who fucking sit around and have sex with these girls and act like you fucking drunk you know the exactly. difference between a fucking woman when you're sitting there drinking, who in the fucking room? He ain't cleaning the room out and bringing in kids. Y'all motherfuckers is, is getting drunk while you're looking at these kids. And the more alcohol and the more drugs, y'all motherfuckers realizing that, oh, I want to have sex with her. Now you ain't looking at her as a kid no more. And you motherfuckers exactly. sick as him. So it's no, no goddamn justification for nobody that fucking have sex with children. Like, what the fuck wrong with you? All these women, you want a fucking child? Tell your woman to fucking put two braids in the head, throw some glasses on, dress up like a goddamn school kid, and there your child is right there. At least you know you're fucking a grown woman. 
Don't fucking go to a high school and think that you getting off on a middle school kid and that's the same. Goddamn, you a sick motherfucker. And that's it. And anybody that indulge in that shit, they sick too. All the goddamn women. Everybody that help them and all that shit. So if we're going to get real with this shit, stop making all this shit. Now, all these motherfucking excuses for these motherfuckers to keep being able to do what they do and make them help be held accountable. And I'm talking okay. to Chicago where all y'all know y'all got family members that be around him. I need to put the pressure on them. They not the ones that have fought, but they need to be accountable for being around this dude. Like, right. I wouldn't give a fuck how much friendship you got. If he go clean, the only reason I can see somebody being with him if he go publicly and openly and be honest about his fucking behavior. But he won't even do that. So nope. what the fuck kind of respect can you respect a man who won't even give you the fucking truth? You lie to everybody. Fuck him. You piece of shit. And I hope they fucking, they fight at the fucking club tonight. When he go in that motherfucker. I hope motherfuckers throw motherfucking champagne out like they pissing on his ass. You know, that that's that's what it's supposed to be, man. You, 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 I don't want no harm done to him, but I want humiliation. That's why I'm against him really going to prison. I want him to destroy it outside where he won't be able to make any motherfucking music. He won't be able to have an entourage. He won't can't afford. He got to live be a regular nigga now. See, when you're a regular nigga, he can't live like that. That's what I want to see. That's called dying with your eyes open. The nigga got to sit there and can't do shit. He got to drive his own car now. He got to be on a basketball court worrying about a motherfucker going to punch him in his face. Now, you ain't got 15 motherfuckers. You don't talk all that shit on the court and all this shit. Like, I'm a regular nigga. Because when he go in that motherfucker inside, he going to be a regular nigga. And them motherfuckers ain't going to play no games with a motherfucker who fuck with kids. Period. You right. Period. That's fact. So, you You're know, right. it, it is what it is, man. I'm just tired of this shit, bro. And I'm tired of all these fucking, every time I look up, I see these lifetime goddamn girls. I meant these girls that lifetime support on fucking websites and on fucking panels talking. And, and, and guess what? If they did that and didn't say my daughter's name or your daughter's name, I'm fine. Right. Exactly. When you mention my fucking daughter's name, you're putting me in it. So understand this, Kitty Jones. Understand this, you lying mother, mf or Shantae McGee. You know you, you, you're not a queen. You're a liar. So don't sit on TV and keep trying to promote your little jabs and keep adding my daughter in like you was around. You witnessed this. You didn't do shit. You're a lying ass. Got the right, right one, bro. and you already know it. Bad, you better keep my daughter's name out your mouth. Keep her name out your mouth. That's all I add. I don't give a fuck what lie you go tell the world. Don't add my daughter and your story. It took a I lot. Swear. It took a lot for them to go to the authority. We first started all this fight. These people didn't want to talk to the alphabet boy. Not at all. And they still, half of them haven't talked to him now. Because they scared what's going to happen. They're going to get locked up. That's one thing about it. We both, both parents, have talked. I've said this numerous times. Have talked to those authorities, the alphabet boys. Did we want to talk to them? Uh, no. Uh, Angelo grew up in a neighborhood, grew up in a situation. I did too. But it, when it comes to your girl, you have to do what's right by these girls and do what's right by these other young women that who has been abused as kids. So we have to, as men, step up to the plate and make sure these girls and women are taken care of because of the fact that they've been abused. And if they've been to a situation where they can't sleep at night and they've been uh, hurt or as a young girl, then we really have, as men, as men, we have to step up and be held accountable to try to help these girls get them out of a situation. As men, period, I'm calling all rappers, singles, uh, movie stars, whoever you may be, as men, 